You guys, I absolutely love these lashes. This lash style, snap. People think that these are my natural lashes, like what? <laughs> Happy Black History Month, you guys. We are celebrating Black excellence all month long, but really and truly all year round because I'm a Black woman and I exude excellence. But we are going to be shining the light on some B.O.B.s, and I'm not talking about the hairstyle. What's the name B.O.B. so they call you Bob? Stop playing, you don't know, know for the book. Black owned businesses, whether it's hair care, body care, beauty, all of that. If you're new here, I'm Shartia Banks. I talk all things healthy hair, healthy lifestyle, and beauty. Now, it wouldn't be right if I didn't start off by showcasing my own brand, Shari V Lashes. If you've seen my face, chances are it's because you've seen any of my educational healthy hair videos or my instructional lash videos, which have gone completely viral. So many of you guys have said that I help you so much with installing your own lashes and you're so happy about how they came out. Although that was the easy and fast way to install lashes, I needed something that was faster, something that was easier, something that was going to last longer. And alas, Sharpie Lashes was born. Sharpie Lashes provide easy and comfortable DIY lashes for lash lovers to save time and money doing it themselves. So when you look in the mirror, I want you to be happy and proud of what you created. The Straight to the Point kit comes with everything you need. A lashes, a lash style in this kit is called Charmaine. It is a C curl, a bond and seal, the remover, tweezers. There's a reason why this kit is called Straight to the Point because boom, it has everything you need. Straight to the Point, boom like that. There are so many videos on how to apply them and how they look on the eyes on the YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Be sure to follow. I am happy to announce we dropped some new heat, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you how I created the most natural looking set using a few of the segment lashes from New Lash Style, Mona Lisa. This lash tray comes with 40 lashes in the lash lengths 16, 14, 12, and 10. The lash style is dense at the base and the hair is intertwined and is tapered for a more natural look and flow. It is a decurl, while decurl is best for all men hooded and monolid eyes. The lash style fits any eye shape. So let's get started. Before I start a new lash set, it is a must that I wash my eyes, making sure they are free of dirt, shed skin, shed lashes, and makeup, oils, all of that. I'm using the Shari B Lashes 3-in-1 Get Clean Lash Shampoo. It is a 3-in-1, perfect for prepping the lashes for a new set. Now, after I wash and rinse, I brush and dry them using a disposable wand and an electronic fan. Absolutely great investment because the air is consistent and it is rechargeable. It's important to dry them thoroughly because not doing so will cause problems for the next step, which is the glue. This is also a new drop, the Waterproof Bond Plus Seal. The one in the kit is also the waterproof but this one, I call this the extra waterproof one. Because I wear my lashes so long that I forget that I'm even wearing lashes. It's perfect for the pool, beach, and tropical vacations. The wand on the extra waterproof bond is different than the wand on the bond in the kit. Using the bond side, I'm lightly dabbing a few times to ensure a thin layer of bond is applied. Making sure to avoid my lash line or water line. It's called waterproof for a reason. Applying only to the base of the natural lashes avoids the eye feeling dry. Using my electronic fan for just a few seconds is speed of the time for it to get tacky really only takes like a minute 30 seconds to a minute for it to get tacky but i want to get it done as fast as i can taking the sharpie lashes tweezer i'm gently clasping the base of the lashes i repeat to remove the lashes from the tray you want to grab the, the base of the lashes and when you're ready to apply them then you can actually grab it from the tip it allows for better control and placement once the bond is tacky the lashes are ready to be applied the band should align with the lash line each time i apply the lashes i'm putting them side by side Side. We do not want any gaps. I sometimes push the lashes into the glue to ensure that it sticks. Now I've created a cat eye, longer list at the outer corner and shorter going towards the inner corner. If I am pleased with my placements, I'll go on to the next eye. This eye took me about four minutes to do on camera, but on average, it takes me three to five minutes, just all depending on the look. I'm going to speed this side up because I'm recording on my phone and did not realize I was out of focus. But yeah, so I think the next video I do is going to be detailed on how to DIY lashes, sharing best practices. Because one thing that makes my lash install so fast is pre-mapping them, which is basically removing the lashes that I'm going to use. I can also discuss different eye shapes and what styles are best suited. Because I always do like a cat eye. That's my signature look, but I'm sure y'all probably want to see some different looks. So what do you guys think? This is how it looks before it's sealed. Because once you seal it, that's it. But 
I want to show you that you can stack the lashes for more volume. I apply a little bit of the bond on the lash band, get it tacky with the fan for about a few seconds, and then I apply it where I want more thickness. This is typically where the lash band meets. I'll overlap that space with the lashes. And the good thing about these lashes is that they're like so thin, so stacking them won't feel heavy. Which side do you prefer? Do you like one layer of lashes or do you like to stack them for more volume? I prefer this eye. Always love a natural eye. It's just more flattering. At least on me. But it's just to show y'all that y'all can layer it. Like I said before, as long as you have not sealed your lashes and it's not completely dry, you can easily remove what you don't actually like. Now that I have my lashes the way that I like it, I'm now going to go in with my sealant. The wand on this sealant is different than the wand in the kit. It's thinner. Both are equally good. It's formulated to react with the bond. So keep in mind, when it's applied to anything else, it does create a white cast. So focus only on the base where you actually apply that bond. Or if you want, you can also put some of the sealant on the tweezers to merge the lashes together it makes it kind of seamless it marries the lashes if you will and make sure to avoid the lashes like i said that way there is no white cast i like to take my time during this part no crusty lashes over here but accidents happen so if you do happen to get any of the sealant on your lashes or anywhere else other than where there should be just quickly wipe it off you want to do it as soon as possible before it dries so yeah this is how it turned out you can make it longer shorter it's totally up to you but this is how my lashes turn out and i understand the confusion now they do look pretty natural like they look like they are my natural lashes like what i did i that. freaking love this style i think it's very flattering on everybody every eye shape it doesn't matter it's so great can't tell they have lashes on they just look so good the fact that i can stack it to make it a more voluminous dramatic look and it's super lightweight, like, bro, bro. To celebrate Black History Month, we are running a sale all month long. Just use code BHM15 for 15% off the entire site. Tag Charmy Lashes on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. We wanna see what you create. See you guys next time.